Nebraska Veterans Memorial Bandstand was dedicated on July 5, 1987, commemorating the Nebraska Veterans Home Centennial. Underneath this stone, we placed a time capsule. Today, 25 years later, 2012, we are going to retrieve that time capsule and see just what it was we put inside it. The bandstand was a fundraising project for our centennial to celebrate our 100 years of providing care and service to our veterans. Still stands today and we still have a lot of great concerts and special events on it. Today we're going to dig out the floor to find the time capsule. This is George Burgess, he's our maintenance manager and he is going to determine how best to retrieve the time capsule. They think they're going to do it, it looks like, with just a, a little like cutting tool like when you cut for carpet. So here we go. I was thinking maybe a crowbar. <laughs> They're thinking We're on thinking. a smaller scale. Uh-oh. Hey, Alex. Go ahead. All right, this may take a little while. Yeah. Now here comes a man with a few more tools. I think they might need a few more tools before we're done here. Hey, you like that? Ow! How's that going? See, I wanted a chisel, and I was thinking we could chisel this out. You know what I'm saying there? Keep in mind, we want to lay that back down in the floor when we're done. Pulling the grout out first. Then we should be able to squeegee it up and out of there. Feel what? <laughs> just, just mess with you. This is probably what I'm taping now is probably going to go in the new time capsule that we put back in when we're done this year. So 25 years from now, they'll say, "Look at that maintenance crew." Is this still going down? Got some members out watching to see what we're going to have, what we're going to find. It's a beautiful day. May, what is it today, the 14th? 14th. 14th. All right, Virgil Burney is a World War II veteran here at the home, and he worked in the grounds crew back in the 80s and thinks that he was probably involved in some way, shape, or form in putting this time capsule in the ground. So he's come out to see what we might find today. Not today, we're not. <laughs> Eventually, we may. Yes. Why? Well, I'm nice to you all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, 
Um, did somebody just scratch it? Wasn't me. It's on tape. I heard the oops. I heard the oops and I zoomed in. <laughs> All right, now we're going to try some different tools. I remember a wooden frame, some kind of a wooden frame. There they went to. Hey, uh, Maybe get the big, uh, get the big hammer drill with the chisel. I haven't had a chance to look at it. I know it was a rough car. Those fittings, but I don't know. There we go. Me and Lux are sitting on a little tool chest down in the ground building. Looks like it's going to be a little bigger job than we anticipated. Yes. I want to go get that song. I think so. I got glue. Looks like it's going to be a little bigger job than we anticipated. Yes. I want to go get that song. I think so. Now we're going to try to saw it open.
It moved. It moved. Can't get much of a bite. Oh, <laughs> oh crap. That's what, that's what I'm worried it's going to do. Yeah, it's going to drop. Yeah. Do you know what your time capsule is made out of? Fingers. Oh, legs. Oh, 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 oh. Just try to get one side down. Yeah, lift up the other side. Right. Let me see that over here. There you go. That's it. Can somebody grab it? I bet oh. it's got to come straight out. No, it'll come. Just keep putting pressure on it. Towards pry back and let me move my There comes. There do it again. I wonder if we ought to try the other side. It ain't going nowhere now. It's wedged in between my chisel. Ready? Push it off. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't lose your finger. Yeah, really. Don't lose a digit over it. Keep going. Not. Give me some more. Sorry. Sorry. Losing it. Good hit. That was my fault. I like that. We we'll almost need to do from both sides. Are you in? Like, yeah, get it here. Just watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. I'm stuck in. Hold it so nobody move. Don't move. Okay, can you come out now? How about down here? We're real close. Okay, go again. Careful, careful. Oh, careful. Careful. oh my god. Ah, ta da! That's just the top of it. Woo! Well, it's got the same thing on the back side. Hey, flip her over. They knew that. Oh, fuck you, Maybe we broke it and we redid it. Yeah, see? It was, <laughs> it was sealed in. See all this concrete? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. Laundry hamper. It does look like a laundry hamper. Oh, I gotta go home. I got dirty. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right. Now, what tool does it take to open it? Hammer. Which side? We got a demo saw. We'll get it open. It could have. We'll Nothing see. We'll just get something that size. A silicone this over thick the top is sitting of on here. Got one they tried to make it airtight. Set it on top, and then oh, just, uh, the on the bottom side. They're nuts. They're nuts on the bottom side. All right, well, I got it. When you put a new one, drill a hole through each side, like this, George. Drill a hole here and here. Have a little box. Yes, he was. How many millions of dollars were in here? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> what kind of treasure are we going to find? Probably a bunch of rotten old newspapers. And <laughs> Come on, Nancy. You don't have an inventory sheet? I do, but I didn't want to try to dig it out of the, of the records wherever they're stashed. I wanted to be surprised. I couldn't remember what we put in here. Knife, knife on the loose. We, we, uh, that was the first tool we started with. It's the one we're going to finish with, huh? I know it's. It sounded like you were getting some air. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah! Ew, here's your goodie bag. Goodie bag. Vacuum seal. Vacuum sealed from from Montfort's, and it says fragile. That's okay. What's it say on it here? Hang on. What's that? It says Nebraska Veterans Home Centennial Time Capsule, 1987. To be opened in. To be opened in 2000. 
87. <laughs> well, we're, we're early. 75 we're years early. early. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll replant it with 25 more years of history in it. You want it on vacuum sealed? Yep. Yeah, I think there's a plate. I can see there's a plate. Yes, I can see it too. That's probably our centennial plate there. Just be careful because that's going to be fragile and breakable. That's my handwriting. I'll mention it. Yep. Has it changed for 100 years? How come you put 87? Because we thought we would open it in 100 years, I guess. That must have been what we decided. I know. Nobody even knew it was still here 25 years later. Be careful because I don't know what else is there. Well, we, we took it to uh, Smockford, is what it was called in those days, because yeah. that's where they vacuum seal it to keep the moisture out of it. But that looks like one of our centennial plates, is what that looks like. We have those all over the place. Yes, we Let's do. Better choice than this time. <laughs> Well, we didn't know in 100 years well, that they time. would have them still. Oh, you're right. There was other way. Yeah. Try not to scratch whatever's in there. Yes, we'll entertain suggestions for the for adding to it. We'll put this stuff back in plus whatever else we want to from the last 25 years. Probably our our video about the tornadoes will go in this one, next one. There was no technology back in 1987. <laughs> this was as good as we could do. Well, I know. That's often the way it is with any of that. It doesn't look like it's wet. No. Even considering the technology, it works. <laughs> the plate is cracked. The plate just cracked. The plate just cracked. Oh, it is cracked. It is cracked. It just cracked. Oh. Yeah, it is cracked. Yeah. I didn't break it. It was number 113. Was the number of it? How do you get out of All right. Yeah, and it probably because did. Because of the so way careful, the crack is. Because be careful because we don't want to. Oh, it's get, cracked all over. Yeah, we it don't want to get. I bet when they vacuum sealed it. It probably busted it. Yeah. Yeah. Get your finger down, girl. Yeah. That's what that vacuum seal thing did. There's the cup. Well, we don't know yet. Is that a ball cap? I think it's a ball cap. It's a mug. Yeah, you want to hold it up now? Okay. We got a mug. It survived. Now let's see. The plate. Looks like there's information in that envelope. Yeah. Okay. The plate. Plate did not survive. But this. This. Let's set this one off to the side. But we need to see what's in that um, manila envelope that's laying by your knee there, there, because I think there's probably something in there. I'm not sure what's in this. Something. Oh, we got something else in there. Yes, we have something in there. It's all. Or maybe it was just to keep it from busting. That's a broken plate. Okay, Terry, you want to open that up? Yeah, probably from the vacuum seal. But it looks like everything stayed dry. That's amazing. What do we got, Terry? We have got the history book. Survived. The other cookbook. The other cookbook that we made, the Centennial Cookbook. I'm going to take those down and show the members. And, and the, the advertisement. advertisement in the paper. And is there another thing underneath there? Looks like. It's, uh, the oh, Centennial Edition of the Burkett Messenger. And the Nebraska Legionnaire with the bandstand picture and stuff on it. Right. Take those down to show to the guys. Here's your mention. Your oh, yes. Yeah. What do you got, Janata? Like Christmas. Yeah.
this? Pictures. Oh. oh, that's pictures of the centennial celebration. Nebraska Veterans Hall, 100 years of service. Yeah, ball cap. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can take those down and show those off. That's the, the ribbon cutting. That's Phillips. Phillips. Everett Phillips. Yep. Okay. And then. Hey, maintenance, thanks, guys. Yeah. Well, because we didn't remember when we said we were going to open it. <laughs> and we, were, and we just figured it was 25 years. And we're not going to be here in 25 We figured I'm the only one that remembered it was even here. might be over there. So 25 years was the only time we'd know. So we'll call you when we want to replan it. For years. There's the newsletter that said it was supposed to be buried for 100 years. We should have researched this a little bit. And yeah. this is a letter to the administrator for 2087. So that will have to be buried with the next time oh, capsule. So we don't even get We to can't see open that. it and see what we said. We'll have to write another yeah. letter. Ah. Mm -hmm. There's something down at the bottom. Centennial of activities. Oh, yes. We had a video. Fun to see yes, now. actually, we this still one, have this in this our library fun. collection. Yeah, our video. You've got something down inside that mug. See underneath this. Oh, there's plug something thing in there. We might have to get a tool to get that out, huh? Yeah, one, one of these. I mean, need that gooey stuff. February 26, 1987. And that's the Grand Island newspaper yeah. edition? Massive winter storm stalls over the southwest. Hmm. I'll bet you what's in there is our article update. Here it is. A century of service. Nebraska Veterans Home, 100 years old. So that's what this, this edition has that in it. That one had the whole yep. edition with the memorials dedicated. Well, that to you. Well, we crammed a lot of things in that little box. We're going to go in and set them in on the table in the Liberty Cafe or around a display case. I'm not sure which. And then some of it will get packed back up, hopefully most of it, and go in the next time capsule. And hopefully it will be easier to get the next one out. <laughs> All this stuff came out of their time cast. Okay. All this stuff on the table came out of the time stand. So dark. today we got it out of the band stand and it was quite the project. I'll be dark. <laughs> so, anyhow, that's our... So then we'll have to add more stuff in it because yeah. we're 25 years older. And then we'll have to decide. I don't think we'll put it back in the band stand. <laughs> I think we might bury it somewhere that would be easier to retrieve it from. So I don't know where that might be. We'll have to decide with it. Maybe the cemetery would be yeah, I think that'd at be least then that, that, no matter where the home ends up, the cemetery yeah, has to be the same place. Yeah, that is an idea. That is an idea. I'm thinking yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we could put time capsule. Because see, the, the floor of the bandstand just says, mm -hmm. I forget mm -hmm. how it said, it was Nebraska Veterans Memorial Bandstand. Dedicated July 5th, 1987, Centennial Project. Oh. So it never said time capsule Don't underneath I, here. I know the only I person that knew it was me because I was here 25 years ago and I remember we put the time capsule in. So anyhow, yeah, it was quite the, quite the deal. Well, Nancy, you did real good. You did real good. Except. Well, I kept having to step around people because they kept putting their butt in the camera, and I was like, oh, I don't want these people's butts.